Hi everyone, so normally I do a collective haul of things I've picked up over the past month. I've bought a fair few things recently over the past couple of weeks, so I thought I'd show them to you. I've got some clothes, mainly clothes actually, and a few beauty bits, but I guess I'll get started. The first place I got some things was Primark, and I went to Primark on a few different visits, and I picked up a few things over a course of two or three trips. Um, most of the things haven't been worn yet because I wanted to save them for the haul but I, there was one thing that I wore straight away because I loved it so much and that was this belt. This is really cool, it's kind of got like collar tips on it and it just looks really cool. I think it looks a lot more expensive than it was, it cost £3 and I really like it. It's like a waist belt and I've been wearing this recently with high waisted skirts and I think it will look really cool with shirt dresses as well. I've got quite a lot of belts that I don't really wear. So I thought, because it's cheap, it doesn't really matter too much, but I've been really enjoying this, and this was £3. Then I picked up a few basics. I got this t-shirt, which is a boyfriend-style t-shirt. It looks huge. What size is it? It's actually a size 12, so I got it a little bit oversized, but it looks humongous, doesn't it? It's got the turn-up sleeves, and it's got quite a high round neck actually and it's just nice and long and baggy it's quite similar to the Topshop ones and the kind of geek t-shirt oversized boyfriend type shape but I thought this would be quite nice with just leggings or jeans and it's just really easy to pair with lots of things to be honest and that cost £3.50 let's fold this back up then I bought something that I didn't ever think I would really buy or wear to be honest but I've recently been wearing things that aren't really in my comfort zone and this definitely isn't. It's just a plain black crop top. I normally wouldn't go about bearing my midriff and I'm not going to be bearing loads but I've got a high waisted pencil skirt which I really like and I thought it would look quite cute with a crop top and like about that much of skin showing around my middle so I bought this and I haven't worn it yet but I thought I'd buy it while there are loads in the shops and before I change my mind to be honest um, and it only cost me £3 so if I don't wear it then it's not the end of the world I bought it in a size 12 because they only had a size 8 or a size 12 and I'd rather a top be a little bit baggy than tight so that was um, £3 then I bought this vest, I have a million of these vests, I have had them in so many different colours and I picked up this bright orange colour because I thought it would look quite cool with this white dress I have and um, I bought this dress from Topshop um, in the sale a while back actually and it's just a shift dress but it's got a really low V and I thought during the day it's a little bit too kind of exposing so I thought this would look quite nice underneath it so you can see a little bit of the orange just here that was £2 then I bought these um, makeup sponges. I've recently been using my Beauty Blender dupe quite a lot and I thought these might be useful for day to day. I don't really know if I'll use them a lot but they're only a pound for 20 so that's like 5p each, you know, not really expensive. Then I picked up this scarf which I absolutely love. I first saw this on um, Barbara from the Persian Babes um, Primark haul and I, when I, as soon as I saw it I just fell in love with it. I love these kind of chiffon -y scarves. And I have loads of these. I've actually got quite a few skull ones already. But I just love this one because it's a little bit different. It's plain in the middle, as you can see. But then it's got these really cool... Oh, it's upside down. Hang on. It's got these really cool skulls around like a border. And then it's also got polka dots. So I thought that was really cool. And this scarf is also a really good size as well. I've got a few from Primark which are tiny. And this one's absolutely huge. I mean, <laughs> you can't even get the whole thing in shot. But I just love wearing scar square scarves like these, just kind of like this, and I really like how you can see the polka dots, and you can kind of see the skulls a little, but it's not too scully, and it just looks really cool. And I just love this one so much, because it's a really nice neutral colour, I don't have a white and black scarf, and it's just a really nice light scarf for summer, so how much did that cost? That was £3 as well. And then the last thing I got, which was actually the first thing I got from Primark over the past couple of weeks, was this shirt. And I haven't worn it yet. So, um, I really like it. It's a bright pink, which wasn't my first choice colour. I really wanted a cornflower blue one, which I tried on like ages ago. But they didn't have it recently, so I just went for this because I thought it would be quite a nice summer colour. And would look quite nice with dark jeans or a black skirt or something. So it was a bright, like, raspberry pink. I wouldn't say it's a sleeveless shirt. It's like a cap sleeve here with little rolled up sleeves um, so it's kind of like a short sleeve yeah anyway it's like a shirt it's got a pocket on the um, chest here and yeah I really like it I don't normally wear shirts a lot to be honest 
But I think this is quite a nice piece and it wasn't too expensive. It was £8, um, so I thought that was quite nice for summer. Um, right, moving on, I went to H&M yesterday, I think, actually, and I picked this up in the sale. It was reduced from £30 or £29.99 to £10. This one is really cool. It's um, just like a dark purple. It was like a, it's not quite like a maroon burgundy colour. It's like an aubergine um, colour. Um, and it's lace, whoops, it's lace all over, and it comes in just above the waist, and then it's got quite a flowy skirt, and then it's got a really nice detail on the back where it's got buttons, and they actually undo it and do up. And so when I tried this on, actually, I didn't realise it had a zip as well, so I undid all the buttons, I was like, I can't get this over my head, like, it's a size 12, which I'm normally a size 10, I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I can't even get a size 12 over my head. Then I realised there was a zip button. Yeah, the buttons are functional, but there's no point to them, if that makes sense. They're more for decoration. But yeah, I really like this. I think this is quite a nice piece for um, daytime. It's also nice for evenings. It's quite nice. You can dress it up or dress it down. So it's really versatile and only costs £10, so I love that. So recently my sister went to a birthday party and they had a huge Sainsbury's nearby. So we did our weekly shop there and I had a look at the clothes. And I decided to get these sandals there. They were only £16 and they are leather. So I thought that was a really good deal. They've got like a faux, um, what do you call this, snake skin on. And then the silver bits and then there's white here. And it just does up around the ankle. Like so. So it just looks like that. And I think these are really cute. I've got some brown sandals which I've had for years. Probably about four years now and I really like those and I've got some neutral kind of sparkly ones so that makes sense which were from Accessorize so I thought these are quite nice and they're a little bit different as well so I got these and these were £16 I also bought some bright pink wellies which are downstairs right now and they were half price and they're literally like neon highlighter pink um, so yeah I love those and um, I recently did an order on House of Fraser and it arrived today I picked up a dress which I'm going to return because it's a little bit small but I bought two other things which I definitely love and I'm going to keep so the first thing is this and it's a Whistles card holder so I'm going to open it up because I haven't actually opened it yet but it's really cool it's kind of um, different I wasn't expecting it to have two different colours on it if that makes sense but it's half of it's black and half of it's mint so I don't know how I felt about that at first but I love it now so I'm going to show you that hang on whoops okay so it's by Whistles and it's black on this side and mint on this side. I absolutely love it. Mint is one of my favourite colours at the moment. I've got mint nails and I love this. I'm going to use this for my Oyster card and this is also useful to put like a bit of spare cash in there or something and I don't know, this is becoming really useful because I started using smaller bags as well so I think this will be really useful to put in a few bank cards or whatever and I can just kind of grab it and go. And that was, whoopsies, um, in the sale that was reduced from £20 to £12. And I actually got a student discount as well, so it was like £10 something. So, yeah, love this. And then I picked up something which I'm very, very excited about. It is a Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. And I got the shade Nude. I have never tried the Tinted Moisturiser before, and I've never tried this colour either, so hopefully it'll be okay. But I saw this in the sale and it was a really, really good bargain. It's a bonus size um, tinted moisturiser, so it's 100 millilitres rather than the normal 40 millilitres, I think. And it was on sale from £40 to £20. And with student discount, I got £2 off. So I got this 100 millilitre um, tinted moisturiser for £18. Isn't that um, an amazing bargain? I think so, yes. If they had the oil-free version in the same kind of bargain as price, I probably would have got that. But I decided to give this a go, to be honest. I mean, it was an absolute bargain, so I thought I couldn't really pass it up. Um, this is the tube. It's humongous, you can see. And I haven't opened it yet. Oops. Oh, it's sealed. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. Um, yeah, that was a really good bargain. And if you are the shade nude, then I definitely recommend checking out House of Fraser. Um, moving on to some other beauty bits, I've only got a few more things to show you now. Um, in Boots they were doing buy one get one half price on their makeup, so I bought a new eyebrow pencil which is the Rimmel Professional Eyebrow Pencil in 004 Black Brown which is my favourite. And I'm really glad to have a new one of these because the lid of my old one is absolutely disgusting now. And then I also picked up this nail varnish which 
I don't know, I really liked the colour. It kind of reminded me of Nail Zinc's Baker Street. But when I got home, I realised I have a colour very similar to this already, so... I don't know. It's by Miss Sporty and it was really cheap. It was one ninety nine, and because it was cheaper than the eyebrow pencil at the half price, so it was like a pound. And it's just this really bright blue. It's like a cobalt blue. I haven't tried it yet, but it's apparently a quick dry one, so hopefully that'll be good because I always seem to decide to paint my nails just before I go to bed or when I'm about to go to bed and then I just sit around for ages like, oh, come on, hurry up, dry. And then I get into bed and I smudge them, so hopefully this will... Help. The last thing I have is from Waitrose and I don't normally shop in Waitrose, I was trying to kill time for an interview and I just thought I'd go to the nearest shop which was a Waitrose and I decided to buy this, it's a shower gel and it's the essential range so I think it's like their own brand and the scent is cinnamon cakes. Um, I've seen online on a few blogs or maybe it was Twitter, I saw somewhere um, that this is a very similar scent to Philosophy's Cinnamon... Oh, I don't know what it's called. I'm having a really stupid moment. I don't know what the scent is called, but it's very similar, apparently, to a philosophy scent. And it's really nice. It has a slight cinnamon tinge to it without it being too kind of spicy. But I think this will be quite nice for autumn and winter. I don't know why I bought this now, to be honest, but I'm going to use it soon because my old one is almost finished. And yeah, I'm excited to try this. It was like one pound something, so if it smells like the Philosophy one, then I've definitely got myself a good bargain, because Philosophy is like 12 pounds, 15 pounds something. So yes, um, this is from Waitrose. Hi everyone, so after I filmed the haul last week, I actually bought a few more things. I went to a Ren skincare masterclass in Liberty last Thursday, and so I bought a few things while I was there, and I also went to the Mark Mark Jacobs store in Mount Street in Mayfair. Um, just because they've got some special items there that you can't get online and you can't get in other stores like Selfridges or Harrods or anything. So I thought I'd take a trip there and I just thought I'd show you those. So in the Mark Mark Jacobs store I bought a few things. I didn't actually spend that much money. I didn't buy a big item. I just bought some few of the special items. The first thing was this little leather heart-shaped purse which I absolutely love. They've got a heart-shaped mirror compact which I have and I just thought this was so cute. So I wanted a little coin purse for my smaller bags and just to keep my coins in for ages and I love it. It's a red leather heart and it's got a heart um, key pull thing as well. And you just open it up and I've got my coins in here already and this cost £16 which I thought was quite reasonable for Mark by Mark Jacobs and I just love it. Then I picked up a necklace, well I picked up a few necklaces. The first one is this monocle necklace, it's like a little, um, what are they called, magnifying glass. And I bought one of these for my friend for her 18th birthday, so that was a good four years ago. And I didn't buy one for myself and I was so annoyed, so I went back and I tried to look for them but they didn't have them. So when I saw this I just snapped it up straight away. This cost me £9. It's got a gold chain with little pearls running through it and then a little magnifying glass which I think is so cute. And it hangs really nicely as well. And then I got another necklace, and I actually already have this, but in gold, but when I saw this in silver, I just knew I had to buy it. I absolutely love wishbone pendants, and I love this one. This is just a kind of ball chain, it's like um, like the key ring kind of thing, which I don't know if I'm really explaining it very well, but it's a little ball chain with a big oversized wishbone on it, and I absolutely love this. This cost me £5. Then I got some rings, and they are the last things that I got. So, first of all, I got this little ring, which is gold, and it's got two dangling hearts on it. So, if I can open it up, that's what it looks like there. I think that's so adorable, and that cost me £5. Then I got two of the Latin rings, and they are basically just silver rings with Latin written on them. So, I got one that says Inter Nos, or Inter Nos, I'm not sure, and um, I can't remember what this meant. I think it was... I'll annotate it below, I just can't remember, but it was a nice meaning, and well, that's in a size 6, that's what it looks like, it's just a shiny silver um, band, and I guess I'll just wear it like this, or on my middle finger, and it's got Marc Jacobs it's engraved in the inside, and I love that, and then I've got another one, which is a Veritas Illustrat. I think this one meant The Truth Enlightened, which I really liked, and I couldn't find a size 6 in this, or a size 7. So I've got a size 8, and it's a little bit big, but I'm going to make it into a thumb ring, I think, and let's see. Whoops, where's it gone? Here we go. That's what it looks like. So that's there, 
and it just fits on my thumb quite well. It's a little bit big, but um, I guess I'll just have to make do of it. And these only cost £2 each. Then from the Ren Skincare Masterclass, we got a free canvas goodie bag. And we had some leaflets and other bits and pieces in there. And we actually got some freebies. So these are the freebies. We got a Hydrocalm Cleansing Milk, which is back there. Um, a Hydrocalm Global Protection Day Cream, which is back there. And then we've got the resurfacing AHA concentrate so a little sample there and then we've got the satin perfection BB cream which I tried and I absolutely love apparently it's sold out within like two weeks so I'm excited to try this for a longer period of time and it's really nice to get a few little samples as a freebie from the masterclass the masterclass cost £35 and it was redeemable against products that you buy on the day so I picked up two things the first thing I bought is something I've wanted to try for ages but I've got the Alpha H liquid gold already so I thought I'd wait till that finished and then I'd buy this one and that's almost finished I've got probably about three or four more uses out of it so I decided to pick up this and it's the Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask and I know everyone raves about this so I'm really excited to try it um, oh the box is really cool like it's got a really cool pattern on the inside there um, this is part of the Radiance range and it just looks like this and it comes with a little muslin cloth as well that cost £30 and then I got the Ren Clarifying Tonian Lotion, which is for combination to oily skin. And I'm excited to try this. I think Caroline Hirons has a review about this, which she compares it to um, P50V, which is probably like three or four times the price of this. And um, this is just an exfoliating toner, which I'm quite excited to try because I get quite a lot of congestion and like under the skin bumps. I'm hoping this will try and get rid of them a little. And this costs £18. Let's see what this looks like. And this packaging is really cool as well. It's got the flowery bits here. Um, I bought a Ren cleanser a while back and I don't think the packaging had that on it. I'm going to check in a minute. And this is what the toner looks like. So yes, I bought those. That's everything for this little portion of my haul. I just thought I'd include it onto the end of my haul because I wanted to share with you what I bought. And I hope you enjoyed this whole video and I'll see you again soon. Bye.